What's going on peeps? Welcome back to another BuzzFeed test. It's a gorgeous summer day here in New York currently. It's about 92 degrees, a little warm for flannels, but who cares really? There's Nala squirrel hunting in the background. She literally sits there for hours and just waits for squirrels to run along the fence. Anyway, um, today on the BuzzFeed tests, I put four options for you on my Instagram story. I didn't get screenshots of when you guys voted on them, but trust me, it was not even close. Um, the churro bombs won by a long shot. You know what, I'm gonna go up on the deck because I feel a little strange vlogging in the middle of my yard. <laughs> So like I said guys, the churro bombs won easily. These look delicious. I've done churros a few different times on this channel. The churro ice cream bowls come to mind. Those were really popular. Now the only issue that we might have, if you guys remember a few weeks ago when I did the brownie bombs, you need chocolate truffles for the middle and because of my nut allergy, I can't eat pretty much any of them. Um, but luckily, you guys let me know in the comments that there's a bunch of nut-free stores online. So I'm on this one right here. It's called Vermont Nut-Free Chocolates, and it looks pretty good. And here's some truffles, so let me go to order them and quick ship them to my house. Well, for 12, it's about $38. More expensive than I wanted, but what are you gonna do? Let me um, fast track them here. and. That was quick. Now that we have our very expensive chocolate, let's get right into this. So peeps, today for the churro bombs, you surprisingly only need a few very simple ingredients consisting of some water and salt, a stick of butter and a few eggs, some cinnamon sugar, some vanilla extract, and then sugar and flour, that's pretty much it. We also cannot forget our almost $40 chocolate truffles. So let's get right into this. I started in my saucepan with a little bit of water, some of the butter, a little bit of sugar and salt. Hop on over to Tasty's video if you want all the exact measurements for this recipe. But I let this come to a boil before adding in about a cup of flour. At this point, it is very important to take the pan off of the heat as you're mixing in the flour and let this mixture cool before you add in your three eggs if you do not, the eggs will cook in the heat of the pan and you'll have scrambled eggs in your churros. Delicious. But I just added those in one at a time, thoroughly mixed between every single one that I added until you get this shiny elastic dough. To finish our batter off, just toss in a little bit of our vanilla and you're pretty much done. Just transfer the mix over to a piping bag with a larger star tip on the end and you could start piping these out on a cookie sheet. So over the course of the next hour, one at a time, I would pipe out a little disc of dough on the bottom, plop down a truffle in the middle, and then carefully pipe around the truffle. It's kind of important that you go slowly and try to fill in all the gaps because if you do not, the chocolate will seep out into your oil and it'll be a hot mess, trust me. Anyways, once those were complete, I a few very simple ingredients consisting of some water and salt, a stick of butter and a few eggs, some cinnamon sugar, some vanilla extract, and then sugar and flour. That's pretty much it. We also cannot forget our almost $40 chocolate truffles. So let's get right into this. I started in my saucepan with a little bit of water, some of the butter, a little bit of sugar and salt. Hop on over to Tasty's video if you want all the exact measurements for this recipe. But I let this come to a boil before adding in about a cup of flour. At this point, it is very important to take the pan off of the heat as you're mixing in the flour. And let this mixture cool before you add in your three eggs. If you do not, the eggs will cook in the heat of the pan and you'll have scrambled eggs in your churros. Delicious. But I just added those in one at a time, thoroughly mixed between every single one that I added until you get this shiny elastic dough. To finish our batter off, just toss in a little bit of our vanilla and you're pretty much done. Just transfer the mix over to a piping bag with a larger star tip on the end and you could start piping these out on a cookie sheet. So over the course of the next hour, one at a time, I would pipe out a little disc of dough on the bottom, plop down a truffle in the middle, and then carefully pipe around the truffle. It's kind of important that you go slowly and try to fill in all the gaps because if you do not, the chocolate will seep out into your oil and it'll be a hot mess, trust me. 
Anyways, once those were complete, I popped them in the freezer overnight to completely harden them up. The next day, I heated up some oil and then just plopped in a few at a time. Cooked them a couple minutes at 350 degrees until they became crispy and golden brown. And once I had all 12 of my churro bombs fried up and patted out dry onto some paper towels, I tossed them in the cinnamon and sugar and gave them a nice coating around the outside. Plated them up a little bit and these look fantastic. So let's give them a taste. Come, say hi. Ah, yeah. no churro bombs 